You might be making no money, making minimum wage, or just making a low income, and you're wondering if you can become successful. Well, let's actually talk about how to make money, and most importantly, what not to do. Hey guys, how's it going and thanks for coming. I'm Nick and this is Real Life Money where we talk about real life and money. Please do not forget to subscribe. So I'm feeling kind of sick right now. You could probably hear my voice and that's why I'm also wearing a hat. Never wore one before, but my I was simply not dealing with my hair today. But I had to push one out for you for this video. So that's exactly what we're going into. So obviously we're gonna have to make more money. Somehow. This is an obvious thing, whether it's getting a better job, whether it's getting a side job or a side hustle. I did a recent video on that, link in the description. Whether if you start investing, whether you start your own business on the side. These could all include maybe like stock market or even real estate. We all know that those are like kind of the specific examples what to go for. However, there are things that I struggle with that you struggle with and so many other people struggle with as well. It's not the specifics. We know exactly what to do. It's like losing weight. You know how to lose weight. You know you gotta eat better and you gotta go to the gym more. We know how to save money. You save it and after saving it you actually have it. If we wanted something bad enough we would do whatever is necessary to get it and that's what we struggle with. So you probably heard of multiple examples before different markets to get into and you know trading and buying and selling or starting your own business whatever it may be. However, it's not only based on just the the specific examples what to do. It's the mindset that we have. And that's why I want to give you a list to focus on. I've been doing research for years and years what to really focus on because not many people even explain this yet yeah, like specific examples but how do we even attack life because life happens I've been through multiple situations I've been making low incomes and I was still able to get that six figure mark and I think a lot of people can so just let's dive right into it on this list it's all really psychological and we wouldn't really think of this so the first thing on this list would be to stop coming up with excuses and even lies you could probably think back to when you had like a great idea that you definitely want to go for but then things in the back of your mind start saying like why should you do that people are going to think this of you it's not going to work and then we kind of talk ourselves out of it we have to stop listening to that. You know, there's always gonna be an excuse for something, like what if this is gonna happen? What if that's gonna happen? Guess what, most likely it will happen. The only thing is that we have to continue and push forward. Otherwise, you'll never know. That's how I live my life. Don't live with regrets. If you talk to like older people, that's what they would change in their lives. They regret a lot of things and that's what you shouldn't do. Number two is stop following poor friends. Now here's the thing. These friends, acquaintances, whatever you wish to call them, they're great people. Don't get me wrong, there are a lot of people out there that are fun to be around and everything, but if their actions don't better themselves, like, I mean, every single day essentially, you know, if they're just hanging out doing nothing, in a dead-end job for like years upon years that rubs off on you when you're around people that actually want to better themselves you internally without almost realizing it you want to better yourself so you kind of push each other along the way if your friends just gonna watch Netflix all day where do you think that's gonna go and that's gonna rub off of you because what are they gonna do tell you to watch the Netflix show that they're watching. And back over here leading us to number three on our list, which is similar, but stop being around poor family members. Now when I say poor, it doesn't have to necessarily be like financial. It's not like, oh, they have a dollar in their wallet. I'm not gonna hang out with them. No, it's the mindset. If they're, again, they could be great people, you know, you might love them and everything, but if they're not bettering you, 
if they're just negative talking and not doing really anything that's holding you back. And I separated friends and family because a lot of people actually separate those in their minds. You know, if a friend does something to you that's like horrible, you might write them off. But if a family member does that to you, you think differently because they're a family member. You're like, oh, I have to be around them or I have to be nice because they're my family. I mean, it's horrible to say, but you know, if someone else did that to you, even if they are a family member, you might want to distance yourself. You know, being selfish has a negative connotation with it. A lot of people actually should be more selfish because if you're not helping yourself, who else will? This is also the idea of the proximity principle. When you put yourself in proximity or close to successful people, you're going to set yourself up for success. If you're around unsuccessful people or poor people or whatever, you're going to be more like them. Same thing with positivity and negativity. They feed off of themselves. Number four on our list would be stop talking so much. Um, I'm a firm believer that we were made with two ears and one mouth for a reason. We have to listen double the amount of time that we actually talk. I forgot where I heard this from, but when you talk, all you're doing is re reiterating things you already know. If you listen, you actually might learn something. I also notice when we talk a lot, I mean, some people say I ramble on this channel, which I might, um, but a lot of things are like 80-20. There, a lot of things are split that way. I believe it's called the Pareto Principle, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but, you know, 80% of the time, your time might be wasted. And that other 20% is life-changing. The only problem is, you don't know when that 20% is going to come around. So yeah, a lot of things in life might seem useless, and you really not might be sure of what's going on. But there's always that golden nugget that you could take out of certain situations to help better your life. So instead of talking, we should really listen and understand instead of talking just to reply. Number five on our list would be to stop watching. I'd say TV in general, you could lump reality TV or even the news into this. Because when you're watching this stuff, one, there's a lot of negativity, there's drama, and it's just pointless, it's not bettering ourselves. And people think there is no time in our lives when they still binge watch, you know, Netflix. Um, so instead, I'm not saying to completely cut that out, but if you split them up a little bit, you could use that time for things to actually better yourself, to actually learn those specific those specific examples that we talked about before, getting into the stock market, into real estate, side jobs, side hustles, and actually start building your money. Number six would be stop buying things from rich people. And that's basically everything that you buy is linked to a company or a business. So when you're buying new Nike shoes, you're making Nike richer. So that's why the rich stay richer because the poor keep giving their money to the rich. So we really can't complain that because we're, we're doing that every single day. It's really the actions and the mindset of the poor that keep them poor and same thing for the rich. It's the actions and the mindset of the rich that keep them rich. And last but not least, the most important that you should not underestimate is number seven, start acting. Like we could watch videos all day that I sometimes get in that routine. Like, yeah, you want to be motivated and that's great. You know, you could watch motivational videos, but if you just watch a hundred motivational videos, you might feel motivated, but you're not doing anything. When you do things, you're already ahead of nine, like over 90% of the people. I mean, look at me now. I'm, I feel like I'm dying, but I'm still doing this video because you have to push to get something that you want. Now that's basically the list that I have for you guys. I just want to touch on something I've been recently watching and that's Steve Harvey. Uh, he's an amazing guy, host of, I mean, a bunch of things, but he's mostly known for Family Feud. He was a comedian or is still a comedian, funny guy. But he's, his story is amazing and I would highly recommend watching his videos. He was actually homeless in a car for three years. 
and his story is truly incredible. He said when he was in school, like when he was a kid, his teacher asked, you know, all the kids to write down what they want to be when they grow up. And he wrote down he wanted to be on TV. And the teacher, he, like he actually got in trouble from the teacher because what he wrote down on being on TV was too unrealistic. And something that I thought was incredible was a quote that he stated was, to kill a big dream, you have to tell it to small-minded people. That's kind of going back to the proximity principle, you know, being around poor friends and family. So we have to realize that we're actually like the biggest harm to ourselves. Like we do these things to ourselves. We know exactly what we want to do. Like you probably had ideas how to become successful or rich or happy or whatever that may be. But then, you know, negativity in the world overpowers the positivity. That's just how human beings are. That's how I am and that's how you are. Um, that's, that's how we function, unfortunately. And that's always gonna be in the back of our minds. So yeah, it's, it's going to be a challenge. You know, these negative people and the world is always gonna have something bad to say. And you're gonna have to be strong enough to actually push forward to become wealthy. And I say wealthy, not only financially. I think a lot of people think, you know, money is everything. You know, we also might think money doesn't bring happiness, but at the same time, we think it does. You know, we're still buying all these things. We're, all, we're still looking at these people on Instagram and everything with these fancy cars and whatnot, big houses. So again, go just go back to that list. Start listening, especially to yourself. I think the hardest thing we have to do is actually learn who we are and that's a pretty good place to start start asking yourself questions and when in doubt look up Steve Harvey he's very motivational and a great guy um, so hopefully this got this helped you guys if you have any questions comments concerns please leave them down below I think this psychological mindset is so much more important than actual examples because we know exactly what to do we just don't do them why? Because we're, we're all messed up <laughs> because our minds are messed up and we have to figure out how to overcome that. And that's why I created this list for you guys. So hopefully it helped you a bit. I appreciate you guys watching very much so. Um, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Hopefully when I'm not sick.